Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern live on television during New Zealand earthquake. This is Scrambled Eggs News. New Zealand's Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern has developed a reputation for keeping her cool in the face of a crisis. But an earthquake first thing on Monday morning as she was interviewed live on television seemed like an unusually trying way to start a week. Live on air and casting her eyes to the ceiling of the room she was standing in at New Zealand's parliament in Wellington, she remained in place as the television camera jolted. She continued to speak as the room rattled around her. The 5.9 magnitude earthquake hit 30 kilometers northwest of Levin, a town about an hour's drive north from the capital, at a depth of 37 kilometers, according to the country's seismology agency. No injuries or structural damage have been reported. The quake lasted about 15 seconds and was felt by tens of thousands of New Zealanders as far afield as Auckland in the north and Dunedin on the South Island. Ardern signaled she was ready to continue the interview as the quake rolled to a close. Ardern later told reporters that the first thing that came to her mind as the room began to shake was that she could not believe what was happening. Ardern, like most New Zealanders, is accustomed to earthquakes. New Zealand lies on the seismically active Ring of Fire, a 40,000 kilometer arc of volcanoes and ocean trenches girdling much of the Pacific Ocean. In 2010 and 2011, two major quakes devastated the South Island city of Christchurch, killing 185 people. And in 2016, another near the town of Kaikoura caused the damage throughout the top of the South Island and bottom of the north, with some major buildings in Wellington still closed for earthquake strengthening. There did not appear to be any such damage on Monday, even close to the earthquake's epicenter. This is Ross signing off for Scrambled Eggs News.